Arvo all, Thursday Arvo here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, bit of a Zen Server project part 4 update, we'll call this part 4A, and if you have a look there, it is on version 8.00. Now, um, as you know in this morning's video I was trying to get the thing to update to the latest version, I couldn't. Um, yes, I know by default I should have gone into the shell and you know typed out a truckload of XE codes, and it actually turned out just to be easier to install version eight, which I've done full, fresh, clean install of version eight. Um, so that's from the host point of view. Over on the main PC, though, I've also upgraded to Zen Center 8. Um, look, I know, I know I'm going to get into trouble for this, guys, because I didn't sit there and write out a whole pile of XE code and everything like that. Considering I had nothing on that server in the beginning, it was just easier to, to perform a clean install of Zen Server 8 and start again. So it does mean now that I can actually do things... Um, this is a little different to 7. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of fiddling about. But, um, you know, I've got my templates all there. You can see that. We've got up to Debian 9 if we want it. Uh, we've got all sorts of templates there. I can use other install media if I wish. So from that point of view, I'm happy. Um, I can, you know, removable storage. I can install a VM from... On the main PC across the network, I do have iSCSI capability if I want to set up an iSCSI target. I don't think I'll do that anyway. This is not a mission critical server, so we are done. I am I'm happy about that. Um, I've still got a couple of things to sort out here. I've got a couple of alerts. Um, I can't actually get that. Um, because I'm not entitled to LTSR. But look, Zen Center 8, Zen Server 8, I'm not worried. I'll be honest, I am not worried. So there we go. We have a new system here and uh, we will start playing around with it for weekend Saturdays, guys. All right, um, which will be all right. So we'll get it out into the cabinet and we'll start you know, testing operating systems um, for it. I don't know about audio or video support yet. We're going to have to work through that. It's been a long time since I've used this sort of thing, but we'll see how we go. As far as XOA is concerned, I'm not worried about XOA at the moment. If I need to get it, I've already got it all pre-configured. If I need to get XOA going, I will. But at the moment, I'm not overly concerned. So there we go. Part 4A of our Citrix Zen Server project, updated to version 8. That is it here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for Thursdays. I'll catch you around the channel tomorrow for AV Fridays. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mates Backyard Tech presentation.